So yeah, so basically here it is. Here goes the 80s HBCU video commentary. Um, this is the video I directed. We had over 80,000 hits via social media as a whole. And um, basically this is something that I wanted to do for a while, but it's now the one year anniversary for the 80s HBCU music video that I directed at Shaw University, my alma mater. And um, I just want to kind of go through the behind the scenes and basically give you guys an inside look on kind of some of the things that happen behind the scenes. So here we go. I'm going to move through it fairly quickly. You know, I don't want the video to be too long, but I just want you guys to kind of pay attention and kind of know what kind of went into it. So here we go. And then towards the end, I'll have Cupid. Um, you, you guys also know him from the Cupid Shuffle. I'll have him to elaborate on a few things that, um, you know, me calling him, contacting him, and him being surprised by the numbers that the video did. So here we go. So this title at the beginning, I wanted something very, very small. I mean, something very, very uh, smooth, short, sweet, straight to the point. Very uh, like 80s, 90s feel. <clears throat> so just put the name, a Stocks Films production. It's, you know, real simple. Um, then also this drone shot right here. Um, it's very hard to get this drone shot because my drone operators, they was like, man, like Steve, like it's having, we're having a hard time getting this drone shot and I was like why he's like man these birds up on top of the building keep attacking it and that the birds were so aggressive that they were like hitting the drone and I guess they didn't know what it was you know so they did what they had to do so I mean they're birds they're animals so they have a mind of their own um but <laughs> they didn't know what happened but I mean the, the birds was just they didn't they I mean probably sleep and then they just see a drone something flying around and waking them up you know I would attack that too you know so here we go I wanted a good shot of the city right here, you know, I wanted the city to, I wanted to show where Shaw was downtown, you know, to, as an, to show it basically as an establishing shot to show where we are. So this part right here, um, it's interesting because everything is taking place right here basically, and then inside later on as you see throughout the video but um i wanted this whole yard to be packed and honestly actually i really wanted to have north carolina central be another band um i just wanted two bands i don't know when i when the idea first came on came around me came to me i wanted two bands to basically just be there you know like a band tunnel one right one band right here or maybe just make them all integrate so i had north carolina central learn the song and then i had shaw university learn the song too as well so i know um, I'm, I used to be in the band as well at Shaw, so um, I had the uh, band director there write the uh, song out, and you know, so basically he, we can send it to the different schools and stuff like that, or Central, so that they can learn it. Um, I wanted Central to be there so bad, but you know, it didn't. It didn't work out. Um, scheduling didn't work out. So, but at the end of the day, you know, it was opposed to them and. At the end of the day, this this video represents all HBCUs. It just shows what goes on, the life, the fun, and everything. So um, these are uh, basically majority of my friends that's in the band. They drove up from Virginia and other places, whatever, to support me. Um, photography. Um, one of my friends she did behind the scenes photography. I appreciate her for that. Some of you know, so a bunch of different friends um, all in this group right here. The DJ. Um, you know what's funny is that everybody got paid in this video but me. Um, and I just saw something. I was like, let me take myself from out of it. I know the reward on the end would be greater. And um, so um, I had the DJ, had the drone operator, had a behind the scenes photographer. And, um, you know, so yeah. So didn't get the whole yard packed. But um, so that, from, so from that perspective, what I had to do was I didn't want to shoot the video like way, like have my camera pointing here. And then you see like all of this wide open and nobody like I didn't want to see any empty uh, benches or anything like that so um, but some of the people back here didn't want to be in the video so I was like man but you see people walking to the video you know so I was like okay so I had to change up the whole concept of the video so basically everything right here I just needed to have my camera right here and being tight you know so on the shots to make it make it seem full because nobody wants to you know nobody you know that's just kind of my logic behind it Oh, and all these ladies right here, random. There was not, it, it, this was not scheduled at all. 
Um, I saw the Zayn in the jacket, and I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and put her in there. And everybody else just fell in line. You know, I said, just come dressed in 80s gear. And some people showed up in 80s, some people did not. But the people that did not, I didn't really want them to be in the video too much because then that way um, they it would throw off the video. It's an 80s video. So, you know, um, didn't want to throw off that feel. Um, so they looked so excited. I was like, let's put them in the video. Like, why not? So this is what I got. I said, hey, let's try that one more time. And they became the life of the video. <laughs> So I actually, people that were sitting there already, I think I asked them because they move, and I needed them to sit here because the cheerleaders and these ladies and another guy, can't remember his name, was actually the the star of the show in the band, of course. So Shaw even had their old school uniforms, you know. Um, the cheerleaders came out, they showed up and showed out. Thank, thank you, Shaw cheerleaders. They they came out and did the daggone thing. <laughs> So as you see, we went from a wider shot to this shot. Now it's a little bit tighter, so you can kind of see what we're working with. But I still get in tight. So see, I got this shot with these these girls and stuff, and then the band. So. So, who's that guy right there? That's me. I always try to put myself in the video. I don't know why I do it, but nobody really noticed it, but I noticed it. But the, the cut was so fast that you won't even really notice. Let me watch it again. Watch this. <laughs> That's me actually directing. You know, I'm directing. It's me out there doing it. I'm shooting. I'm telling somebody to come somewhere. I don't know what, but hey, it worked. It didn't take away from the video because it was so fun. <laughs> So these these girls did it. These girls did it. These cheerleaders. If it wasn't for the cheerleaders in the band, uh, the the cheerleaders were the center of it. I just had to, because they are the spirit of the school. You know, they like the hype people of the school. So I really needed to make sure that I had them in the center of the video to make sure that everything else revolved around them. That was not scripted. That was just something organically that happened. So that basically I wanted to do something back and forth like I wanted to show this 80s crew getting down and then the chili just getting down so I, now as I'm progressing I'm establishing my dancers like these are my dancers and then um, the chilies are my dancers, and this is my friend right here, Peanut. is funny. He's a funny dude, man, but he showed up. I appreciate it, man. Um, so, I mean, it's just, just the support, overall support from this video. I was tired, mentally tired, but the support, man, kept me going. So look at these outfits. You know, I was like, man, like, I gotta keep these people in this video. So look at Miss Baxter right here. This lady right here, like she's an alumni of Shaw, and man, she was there to show up. I wanted to kind of have more older alumni in there too as well, but she showed up and showed out. So I was like, hey, look, we gonna get her in the video. I didn't want to have the camera on in her face, but she needed to be in the video, so I put her in the video. <laughs> I had to add some slow motion in there to change up the variations of some of the shots, but here we go. Oh, there I go again. Look at that with that Shaw hat on, directing, shooting the cheerleader, you know, making sure that they, you know, doing everything right and filming. We probably did this about mm, 15, 20 times just to make sure that everything was right. Because it was on the two camera operators. So we just see everybody having fun. That's the that's the key. Just having fun. That's all it is. It's an old school video. Oh. 
<laughs> so that cut right there. I need. I, I wanted to show. I didn't want to just have see everybody walking down to the Bears then, you know, and dancing down here. So, but this scene right here, it was a party downstairs. Those I, organically, you know, it, it's it's a feeling that you get. These kids, I'm trying to tell you, they tore it up. I did. I just. The DJ wasn't even sometimes playing some of the songs, and they just kind of just, he was playing, we was playing like Cameo and like uh, Osley Brothers and stuff, certain things, and then we got back to the song, but I like to do that to switch it up, because sometimes people get tired of the song, so I just wanted to make sure that I did something that was fun, that was different, and we made it work, and here we are. So this guy right here came in with like the 80s chain on, like the Run DMC stuff, you know, and um, he's a student of Shaw, forgot his name, but he, he, it's like, I just started seeing people. I was like, okay, yeah, you got the look. And then I just made him main characters in the video and kind of found out he can dance. He, he had the look, um, he coming down the steps. I was like, Hey, let's, let's have, let's switch the story on the spot. Let me have you walk down these steps and let me just kind of have you talking on the phone. Like you coming to the party, like you trying to figure out where it's at, or maybe you, just, I don't know who you're talking to, but just having fun. And he walks down the steps, and he comes into the party, and boom, here we are. See, he coming into the party, he live. Yeah, baby, we live. Hey, he killed him. This is what I did right here. So I was like, okay, the story would be more impactful if I establish her as a main character. Shout out to, um, I forgot her name, but she's a mass comm major. But shout her out though, you know, she's definitely going to go places and stuff. You know, um, um, I think she's a mass comm major too. But I did this for the mass comm departments at the different HBCUs and stuff, and especially at Shaw because I go back a lot and help them out with, you know, different things. I'm in the field and stuff, I work a lot. So, um, a lot of these kids want to kind of do what I'm doing as well, so why not give back? Um, that's basically what this video was about, just giving back. So um, she was a main character at first. Well, she is a main character. She's a main character. They were both established. Well, this crew right here is a main character. So then he got the juice right here. So why not just have them do like a little dance battle, like a dance competition together, like a little dance dance off. <laughs> down there the cheerleaders and everybody else everybody came down there didn't need a whole many whole bunch of people but people came out and we kept our shots tight you know if i did a really wide shot of the room you'd probably be like okay there's some empty spots but you wouldn't know that that's the tricks of filmmaking so you want to make sure that you um keep shots tight and um show energy so we had some kids playing pool and stuff I didn't really know what to do right here, so I just said, just throw your hands in the air and we're going to figure it out. Shot right there when the girl was uh hit the pool, hit the um you know the pool stick. No, I can't even talk. When she was playing pool, and uh, that was pretty fun. That was fun. Like this all organic stuff. I never this all organic. That's that's what I'm about. Organic. Just make sure that everything is organic. <laughs> I 
think they're gonna use. I think Shaw's gonna try to coin that because uh, it's it's really dope. That, that this wasn't even planned. I just said, oh, but well, actually, it kind of was. I said at the end of this this take, do this, and see what happens, and this what happened. I want to hear it again. It was just so dope. I just like when it ends and he just his timing is on his his timing is perfect. Check this out. Yeah, that was cool. And just thanks to everybody that helped out. You know, um, my crew and my team, I definitely appreciate it. But um, here's what Cupid had to say after the fact. <laughs> Hello everyone out there, this is Cupid, aka Mr. Cupid Shuffle, the dance party king, man, and um, it's one year, it's one year since the viral sensation, the amazing video, man, put together by Stars Films um, for Old School came out, and um, it's just awesome to be able to to have been a part of something so amazing. Uh, I remember when I first got the call, and I, I didn't, I get calls all the time for people wanting to use the Cupid Shuffle, and Love Sliders, all in uh, Do It With Your Boots On, and other songs that I have for several licensing stuff. I mean, I've done Jump In The Throne, I've done Dr. Oz, just to name a few, Ellen DeGeneres. So when I got this call for a song that wasn't the Cupid Shuffle, I was kind of shocked. And um, got the phone call, and I just remember, you know, I remember, uh, you know, I, I remember just saying, Okay, cool, you know, I'd love to see what it is. And oftentimes when people do videos, they're typically viral, as in camera phone viral. But, um, and I was pleasantly surprised when I saw the final of uh, everybody at Shaw University. And shout out to Shaw University for, I mean, they they made me think I was watching uh, a different world. Like, um, the, the, the kids there, man, they just... They took on the essence of all the old school dances, and it was just a it was a party, and I hadn't I did not expect that at all. So you know, um, it once it once it started going viral, I was like, this this is actually something. This can actually be the official video to the song without me even being in it because it was so well done, so properly done. So um, again, Starks Films and Shaw University, guys, y'all. Y'all have been a blessing to me because they took that song, which I made in 2012, and catapulted it. I mean, it, the sales started shooting up, the streaming started shooting up, and it's just been rolling ever since. So, um, Old School is a song that I perform where I get a lot of great feedback from the audience. But this video really took it to the next level. And honestly, like I plan on eventually making it the official video for the, for the song, considering... How can I top it? Quality on point. I mean, scenery on point. The uh, the treatment was on point. So um, it's just a good good thing to be able to have somebody reach out and do something so amazing, you know, to one of your songs. Here's the other part of his conversation as well. But one thing that keeps me going and keeps me relevant and keeps me working constantly is my loyal fans, like I have some of the most diehard loyal fans you'll ever meet in any type of genre of music. And I remember we did a viral video like way before for old school. It was me and two of my friends in a park just joking around. And um, I remember my fans at, like started to hit me up like, man, the old school video is off the chain. The old school video is so dope. And I was like, wait, we didn't shoot an official video. Man, but Steve, like I said, Steven, man, he put it down in a major way. And it is is like it's legit the video, you know. And I remember before um he shot it, he called and he was like, Hey, I really want to get you in the video and I wanted to do it so bad. But it was a scheduling conflict, man. You know, I'm I'm on the road quite often, so I know I had something booked at that time and he had already organized with the university and with all of the people. Um, he had already organized the times and the dates to have it shot. So I did. I, I missed it, which I regret. Trust me, I regret. But at the end of the day, man, it all worked out amazing. I'm mean, Shaw University did an amazing job. I can't, I can't say thank you enough 
for the job with, um, that, that everybody did to make this thing a success even to today. Viral, viral sensation, man, old school. But one thing that... So there you have it, folks. Um, I want to thank you again for watching. And um, there we go. Good to go. I think I might do another video. What y'all think?